Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Shado back again with another YouTube video. Like, comment, and subscribe. So, if you've been following me for a long time, you see I got it on my the game show network. I love the game show network. Um, excuse all that crap in the background, but today's video is how to make um I was on I was scrolling on Facebook and somebody was just like, okay, I want to know how to make this this um this uh this 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 uh kendrick lamar j cole design it looks sweet but it's very basic i'm gonna show you how to do this i've been doing this for so long i can do it in five minutes so what you do you open up photoshop right excuse this you know what i'm saying excuse it go to new okay and then don't worry about this preset don't worry about that you ain't got to do all that all right so since we're using it for online usage size it to if you want to make a square you know best resolution 1300 pixels by 1300 pixels nice and square you can use this for instagram you can use it for facebook it's perfect now if we were trying to make it on a t-shirt we're going to be doing inches so a lot of paper is what eight and a half by eleven you get my drift but since we're just doing it for online we're just going to be doing uh, pixels okay so we're gonna do 1300 pixels so we just want to use this online uh, 1300 1300 and if we wanted to, I'm gonna show you how to do it on a shirt too so for now 1300 by 1300 okay cool so we got a clean slate got a nice clean slate all right so just one layer this is what you should have all right so the image it looked very good but long story short it kind of look, looked like this a little bit that's what it looks like. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, this is what I put in the, the chat. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I did this less than five minutes. So we're going to make another design. I'm going to just show you how easy it is. So J. Cole said PNG. J. Cole said PNG. Because remember, PNG have, you know, like the clean backgrounds sometimes. All right. So um, just find a head that you like. Find a head that you like. Me personally, this head seems clean. It seems like a clean cut head. So I'm going to use, um, we're going to use this one. Let's use this one. All right. Um, you can save it. All right. Or you can drag and drop. Whatever works better. You can save it by, of course, like right clicking on it. So save it to image as, you know, save. It. I usually do it to my desktop. Um, sometimes it show up as low resolution. So just play around with it. Whatever opens up, you know, biggest for you. You might have to go straight to the website and click download. You know what I mean? All right, so these seem like to be royalty-free images, so you're straight. All right, and then there was a house. So we're gonna put uh, J. Cole's head. Let's do J. Cole house. I try not to use like, like small images. So I go here, so settings. Uh, no, two, sorry about that. It didn't go to size. And large, we're gonna click on large. What did I click, man? We're gonna click large. All right, so this is J. Cole's house. Nice little cool little house. All right, cool, we got his house. So we can do a right click save as, or we can just drag it. Sometimes they don't let you drag it. Sometimes they do. All right, cool. All right, so let us drag it this time. All right, so now we have two more layers because at first it was just one layer. You remember? It was just the background. So now we have two layers, layer one and layer two. All right, so I'm gonna take out layer one first. I'm just gonna hide it. This is an eye. So I'm just gonna hide it. I'm gonna click on layer one. I'm going to um, control T so I can resize it. Hold the shift key. If you're on Windows, um, I think it's like control T. Macintosh is command and then shift is shift. So just make it big, you know what I mean? Make it real big. I'm doing this with one hand, so you gotta bear with me. Do, 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 do. Okay. And as you can tell, this is not a PNG, so we're gonna have to erase um, this little other stuff, this little background, so that is, so it's just his head showing, you know what I mean? So, boop. We're gonna click erase, magic eraser tool. Oops. I, I, what I did was I right clicked. On the Mac is a double, like a two click, two finger click. I think on the um, Windows is right click. 
I do the magic eraser tool just for time's sake. All right, and you see it, it got all that unnecessary background stuff out. So I'm gonna just make this big as possible. Okay. And do that like that. All right, so now we got a big old J. Cole head. Hey, J. Cole, nice to see your head here. All right, so now we're gonna bring back this layer, right? Now this is the interesting part, okay? So you see this picture is right over top, right? Since we have isolated this layer, this layer is just a head, nothing else in the background, just a clean cut image of the head. I'm gonna show y'all how to race if y'all wanna do all that uh, in a later video. We just got his head, right? Okay, cool. All right, what we can do with this, with this picture, what we're gonna do is right click Create clipping mask. Shrimp. And you see what happened? We right click, create clipping mask. What that's gonna do is allow you to do it. All right, so then we're gonna transform it. If we just, you know, transform it without holding shift, it's gonna look crazy like that. You see, you see how funky it looks? But we don't want it looking funky. We, don't, we want it looking Gucci Poochie. All right. You know, so just, you know what I'm saying? Just make it big. Make it nice and big. I'm doing this with one hand. Usually don't take me that long, so. All right, so that's big. That's big. So now, we still have two layers, but this is that little clipping mask, so we're good. So we're good. Um, we're gonna put the house light right there. You know, put the house light right there, something like that. Whatever you, however you like it. And then we're gonna go back to the eraser tool. Since we're working in this layer, we're working in this layer, not this layer. We're gonna go to the eraser tool. All right. And then we might, you see the opacity? If you if you, if you have it at 100, just imagine you putting the eraser straight on it. You see what I'm saying? So you, you don't want that opacity so high. We want the opacity to look like we just swagging it out. We just swagging it out. You know, we just gonna maybe, you know, plot, try around with 50, 20, you know what I'm saying? Whatever settings you like. I'm gonna try around with 20% eraser. And then just, you know, just lightly bring it back in. You can see his hairline coming back in that zone. Yeah, you can probably see his eye coming back in. You see what I'm saying? There we go. We can bring that on in that down there. Okay. Y'all catch the drift. Y'all catching the drizzy. Okay. There we go. So I'm a, I like it like that. I like it like that. There we go, y'all. We're going to bring a little ear back in that zone too. Right there. Hook it up. Hook it up. Make it a little swanky. Put that joint down to like 5%. Bang, bang. And then just, you know, do a little clippy, 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 clippy. Little clippy, clippy. I try to keep this video, this video less than, you know, 10 minutes, but it is what it is. Y'all fast forward if I'm getting too wordy, all right? But yeah, this is simple, man. I'm about to start. Y'all keep subscribing to the channel. Um, this just brings in a little extra little cool effect, all right? Keep subscribing to the channel. I got more videos on the way. Um, I'm gonna start classes for everybody that needs that extra hands-on type help. Um, might have like a subscription-based thing with that. All right, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna uh, control click. So now we just wanna resize this. So, or what you could do for real, for real, you can either do it this way. I usually don't do it this way no more, but you can do it this way and transform it. You can control T or you can do file, uh, edit transform all right transform scale okay all right and then click it shift control it all right i need to set up a tripod for this jump now good day and then just you know what i'm saying do it like that bang 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 all right, so we got this. All right, so y'all, then y'all can put like, you know, J. Cole. 
All right, and this is how you have a professional looking, you know, professional looking graphic that doesn't look all crazy or bopped out or, you know what I'm saying? How people be looking all crazy. Just keep it nice and simple. Or you can change the font, whatever font you like. You can make it look corny. You know, you can give it like a, whatever y'all want to do. But just keep it, keep it cool, okay? Keep it cool. All right, so, so this is my rendition. Oh, and y'all, basically, all right, so let's say if you want this as a t-shirt, right? Y'all want this as a t-shirt. All right, everybody's doing the shirt. So what we're going to do, we're going to do this, all right? Since these things, I edited the image, right? I'm just going to merge this. I want to merge this, merge the layer, right? And then... So now these two are just one. So when I, as you see, when I transferred last time, it was all over the place, right? So now it's just one artwork. This is your artwork now, okay? Um, basically what you can do is you can, I'd usually convert it to a smart object because it, it preserves all of the, um, the, the pixels and all that. So we want to do a new jump. All right, a new, and let's say um, inches, you want to print out uh, eight and a half by 11. We're going to do eight and a half by 11. You can do, you know, 11 by 17. We're going to do 11 by 17. 11 inches with 17. DPI, always 300. Color mode, I'll explain that later, but don't worry about it now if you're just doing t-shirts. Um, sublimation and uh, transfers, don't worry about all that. All right, boom, okay, cool. So now what we're gonna do is this, all right? So we got our artwork. We're gonna select all the layers, right? Select all the layers. You can either do it from here or you can do it from here. I'm gonna do it from here. And then try, so you see it now it's on that um, 11 by 17. All right. Okay, you know, shift. Hold that shift button down. Hold that shift. And then just, you know what I'm saying? Just um, size it to the size of the shirt. So let's say if your shirt, you got a woman small. I usually size the woman small. It's like nine inches the width, nine by 12 or something. Or if you got a 2X, you probably need like 12 inches. You know what I'm saying? And just keep in mind the size of your heat press too. All right? So just measure it out. Then look, look what you got. And you see the pixels are still there, don't look distorted, don't look crazy. Because we did what? We um, converted that to a smart object, okay? All right, so once again, you can print it out. Then what you can do, um, if you're doing transfers, you can also uh, flip it. If you need to flip it, so when you print it, it'll print out reverse. Or if you don't need to do it, if you print all way to do it, um, you can just leave it alone and save it you save it like this file save as uh let's see here we're gonna put j cole i always do it on the desktop okay oh here you go psd um we're gonna save it as a jpeg jpeg all right save okay all right and there you have it okay yeah keep it at 12 don't worry about this um large file keep it at that 2.3 megabytes is good that's good all right and there you have it and now you got your j cole final image you got it and now that's ready to print all right, so make sure y'all share this video. You like, comment, subscribe. Uh, tag J. Cole in it. If you're looking for a graphic design artist, I'm the man he need to go to. All right, peace.